Welcome to the Fannenberg DTS 31X1 Series Cooling Unit installation video. Prior to installation and operation of this unit, read the installation operation manual completely. Reference the manual during installation. The power mains should be run. Follow all lockout and tagout procedures. Read the warnings on screen and in the manual. Any electrical work should be undertaken by a qualified electrician. Every unit will come with an accessory pack with items required to install your unit. The accessory pack includes a parts list, ceiling strips, fasteners, and a Wago plug for electrical connection. Let's get started. Step one, use the cutout template to cut the correct openings and drill the holes for the fasteners in the enclosure. The exact location is determined by your application. The template can be found at FannenbergUSA.com. Step 2. Apply the ceiling strips around the perimeter of the unit and a strip between the fan and the coils. Apply all of the provided ceiling strips. Step 3. Install the two included threaded rods, also called the locator pins. Thread them one-third of the way into the top two corner rivnuts openings. These pins are used to hang the unit on the enclosure to allow installation of the remaining fasteners. Step 4. Hang the unit by aligning the locator pins with the holes on the enclosure. Secure the unit with flat washer and hex head nut on the two locator pins. Step 5. Use the remaining washers and bolts to fasten the unit using the remaining mounting holes. Tighten the bolts down until the seal insulation is compressed to half its thickness. Read the warnings on screen. Any electrical work should be undertaken by a qualified electrician. Step 6. Prepare the Wago connector supplied in the accessory pack by connecting the included jumper between point of connection number 3 and 4. Step 7. Loosen the two cable lock screws. Remove the two screws on the panel cover, then remove the panel. Step 8. Insert the Wago connector into the back of the unit. Step 9. Reference the technical manual for specific direction and diagrams on making the electrical connection. Pull the electric cable through the wireway. Connect the wires to the terminal block. Pull the slack on the electric cord and tighten the cable lock screws. Replace the control panel cover and replace the two screws.
Step 10. This unit has a 60-second startup test mode. Note that before the unit is powered on, the door switch must be closed for the startup test mode to fully run. Step 11. To begin the test mode, power on the unit. For the first 30 seconds, only the green light will blink with changing intensity. Low, medium, high, medium, low. After 30 seconds, the internal fan will start, followed by the external fan and compressor startup. The green light will continue the same sequence. The compressor and fans run for the remainder of the test mode time. Please note, should a fault arise in test mode, the unit will go into fault mode with the indicator light lighting up accordingly. See the manual. Once the test mode is complete, the unit will run based on the control panel settings. The green light will go solid green. Congratulations, the installation is complete. If you need more information, find us at FannenbergUSA.com and look for the Service RMA section in the top menu or email us at sales at FannenbergUSA.com. Thank you for watching.